And who would like to go first, please? George, we'll come to you, thanks. Hi, Martin, good to hear from you. Um, it's obviously been a couple of months, I think, since you was appointed, but obviously this is the first real chance to work with the players. How have you found it, you know, these last couple of days? Yeah, brilliant. Like you said, a couple of months uh, since I left Watson and then got the, got the England job and just, just to be in camp this week with the players and the staff and just get a real feel for it, um, thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah, it's obviously, um, you know, some really exciting young players in that squad, isn't there? Marcus Smith and... Freddie Stewart, um, but a nice blend as well. I was wondering how your uh, your fellow Wigan boy Owen Farrell welcomed you in in this week. Always been great, and I think, like you said, um, the mix we've got between that youth and that experience, the players have all mixed well. There's been a really good vibe about the players, and uh, I managed to get a good connection with all the players and Owen as well. So it's been like, it's been invaluable this this little mini camp for me personally, and hopefully the players as well. So we can, there's something we can kick on from. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, it wasn't that long ago that you switched codes, um, but you, you obviously had a lot of success with Wasp, especially in that first season. So, you know, obviously, you know, guessing you, you feel obviously ready and more than capable of stepping into to this top top job. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think uh, um, I back myself on what I do. I think um, Eddie wanted me for, for this job. Uh, I think so I could get the the best out of the group of players they've got, at the, the exciting group of players they've got at the minute, and I think. Today was the first good day on the pitch. I think uh, there's some real good synergy out there between the staff and the players. Yeah, definitely. Are you sort of as it surprised yourself almost at how quickly you've sort of risen risen through the ranks. I think everyone could could sort of see what you was doing at Wasp, but obviously in two years to to go into England, um, you know, it is a is a real real steep jump. Yeah, of course it is. Um, it was something I wanted to achieve. Um, I wanted to achieve that. Um, probably came a little bit quicker than. I expected, but um, it's something I'm ready for, and uh, I've got a bit between the teeth about it. I'm looking forward to it. And just finally, for me, in terms of Eddie, do you guys have much history, or, or was your sort of first real conversations with him you know, when you kind of kind of approached you about this job? Yeah, no, I had a couple of conversations um, with him, um, and then yeah, it all happened pretty quickly, to be honest. Uh, so. Obviously, I've got to know him a lot more in these these last couple of months, and I think uh, he's a great person to to learn off, and uh, hopefully, we can get a good uh, relationship going forward. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, man. Thanks, George. Liam, we'll come to you next, please. How are you doing, Martin? I'm just wondering there to follow up on the question. Was there anything particular Eddie would have said to you when you first had that conversation that convinced you that stepping into the test arena was the right thing for you, even though you'd only spent a couple of years at club level? I think it's when we we spoke about. The direction the game's going, um, and how the vision for England going forward, and the ideas I had around that, and he had around that. Um, I think it was a good fit for where the, the direction the team wants to go in. Um, I think something that suits me down to the ground, and I think, uh, especially with the calibre of player we've got here, I think. Uh, Hopefully, we're on the start of a, a nice little journey heading towards with our aims to win the World Cup in two years' time. And I think we've got a. This is the start of the path towards that. Yeah, Dad, you watched England in recent times. What do you think they were lacking given that it was a fifth place finish back last March in the Six Nations and stuff like that? Did you, did you keep an eye on them back then before you. Yeah, you yeah. It, it, it's tough games. Games are uh, fine margins at this level. I think in the Six Nations as well, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Went on behind the scenes, COVID and, and things that happened uh, on the pitch. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about what happened previously. Really, I think uh, what we've set out a vision for what the England team going forward looks like. The vision that the game we want to play, and that's all we're focused on with a new group of players and a new group of coaching staff. Okay, and just with that vision, finally, for me, the vision that, that you do see out there, in what way do you, have you seen the game change in recent times? I mean, Eddie, Eddie keeps going on about, say, rock time has come down and stuff like that. Is, is that the way you see it as well? What, what's, what's your vision of how the game is attack -wise? Yeah, I think there's potentially going to be more opportunities to attack and um, we've got to be ready to be able to take more opportunities when they come, come our way and be able to be adaptable to different situations in different teams and the ways that they defend, especially with the new rules coming in as well. We want a balanced game. 
and we want to be a team that can break down all kinds of defences. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Liam. Do we have anything else for the live section? Okay, we'll move to right is there.